Oh my gosh, why are there so many things here? This is crazy. I just got knocked out by someone. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video on Aberration. Today I kind of want to go and try to tame a Megaloceros, a Mega. And so to do that, um, I do have most of the supplies that I need for that. I was planning on building a trap, but I, just, I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and try to net it over and over again. Um, actually, before I forget, I do want to grab a Thyla. Uh, because my plan is, and I hope that this works... So yeah, my plan is to shoot the Megaloceros off the back of my Thyla. Hopefully my Thyla can survive. It's got a pretty decent saddle. It should be fine. As long as the Mega doesn't like eat me off of the back of the Thyla, I should be okay. I don't know if they can do that or not, but I guess it's only one way to find out. Before I go out and hunt for one, though, I do want to go ahead and find some jellyfish. I got my Spino with me um, right here. And so I need to go get some biotoxin to make some um, shocking tranquilizer darts because... Although my long neck here is pretty good in damage, it's not the best, but it's not bad. Um, I do want to grab some biotoxin to make some shotgun darts to make the taming process a little bit easier. Uh, let's go ahead and get going and find some jellyfish down in the blue zone. It's honestly so peaceful up here, <laughs> but I know when I get down there it's just going to be so chaotic. Oh, I just pooped in the air, didn't even know that could happen. Okay. I'm hoping that I can find some jellyfish pretty quickly. I don't know how common they are in the blue zone, but I guess we'll find out shortly here. Okay, there's a Caprosuchus behind me, so I'm going to throw up my spinal real quick. Hop on it. Alright, where'd it go? There it is. I was like, I could hear the music, and I know that it's behind me. Okay, let's go ahead and find some jellyfish or two, just to get some biotoxin real quick. I think there was one over here. Yep, yeah, here's one. Okay, 119 biotoxin. That's not bad. I think I'll get one more. I think it takes like three biotoxin per dart to make a bioshock dart. So there's one. There you go. That should be enough. Okay, cool. So let me just go ahead and deal with this Carquinos um, quick. Now I'm, I'm way down, of course. Um, well, I did not, I did not realize that, uh, okay, this is bad, very bad. Come on, Spino, kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on, Spino. Oh boy. This isn't good. There's so many things around here. Get on, no! Oh my gosh, why are there so many things around here? This is crazy. I just got knocked out by something. Holy crap. I might die. I'm not through the tree. I just found my die too. Why are there so many things here? Ridiculous. Ravagers. Deinonychus? What are Deinonychus doing here? Okay, well, let's go back and get my stuff, if possible. Okay, well, I'm back, and I collected my stuff. However, I lost my Spino, unfortunately. Um, but at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and get back to base, and try to get back to base, anyway. Um, so I'll go ahead and get back to base, build some biotoxin. I'm kind of sad about my Spino dying. I kind of figured it would once I got attacked because it doesn't have a very good saddle. It's just primitive. It is what it is. You just kind of have to move on and forget about it. I think I do have a backup spinal, so that's good. But it is unfortunate that it died. Moonlight died and passed away, unfortunately. So, come on, let me get up here. Pete's sake. All that for just a little bit of biotoxin, too. What a shame. Okay, we are back at base. Let me go ahead and get that, um, those biotoxin darts started. Um, 157, I hope that's enough. They last about four hours, okay. I was thinking of perhaps making a trap for the Megas, but it's kind of boring to be honest. <laughs> I kind of want to try um, taming them with a net gun. I think they can pick you up off your mount, so I'm just going to have to be careful of that and just making sure that I um, net them right away. And then I'll just trank them off the back of my Thyla that I have here, um, Junior. That's the plan. We'll see how this goes, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what they take either, if they take raw meat, mutton, cooked lamb chop, but we'll find that out in a few, few minutes, I'm sure, so 
Uh, let's go ahead and get going with this uh, little little adventure here. I am bringing along a few med brews. I just quickly crafted them up uh, the previous day uh, while I wasn't recording, so we have those as well. I, I don't know if I can use them while I am like trapped between the Mega's mouth, but <laughs> if that happens, hopefully I can. But if not, I'm just gonna have to whistle my uh, Thylacolio on. Is that one over there? Is that an Iguanodon? That is an Iguana. Never mind. I don't want to wander too far away from base, just in case I die and have to go get my stuff, so that's the goal. I'm gonna try to help there's some records over here. Shouldn't be an issue though. So I got my net gun out. This way I can hopefully net gun the Mega and then um, shoot him with the Trink Darts to knock him out. A couple of Ravagers down here. Shouldn't have an issue dealing with these guys. There's a Basilisk. Is it going to attack me? Or did it fall through? I don't know. That's weird. Wait, did it just hit me underground? Wait, is that invisible? It's invisible. It's under the ground or something. I don't want it chasing me, but hopefully I'm hitting it right now. Yeah, I am. That was so weird. Did you see that? It's like under the ground or something. That was super. Welcome to Ark, everybody. Let's see. I'm looking for some mega. I've got some Dinosuchus over there. There's one. What level are you, my friend? Level 120. That's not bad, honestly. I might go for that right now. Um, a couple of Dinosuchus is over there, though. That's the only issue. It's kind of a dangerous spot over here, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll just go for it. Let's just go for it. Oh gosh, can you not net gun these? That would not be good. You can. Okay, thank goodness. I was getting worried for a second. Because I'm not getting off the silo, that's for sure. We got another 40 seconds. Oh yeah, we got this. Yo, these biotoxin darts are so good at uh, knocking these dinos out. If you can craft them, they're so worth it. They just go out and blink an eye, man. That's so fast. I love that. Okay. So I think I will leave that. Um, raw mutton. That's what it takes. Okay. So I could go back and grab some raw mutton from a, an Ovis. I know Ovis spawn in the green zone. Is it worth it? <laughs> I don't know. 18 bites, that's how much, that's how long it would take. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some raw mutton from the green zone, and I will be back shortly here. All right, I got the lamb chop from the Ovis. Now let's go ahead and go on back to the Mega that I was taming up. Let's see it's narcotic or uh, unconsciousness. Okay, it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tamed up, and see you shortly. Let's go, my first Megalosaurus. Beautiful. Hopefully I can find something better than 120. 120 is not bad at all. I think the max here is 150, but I'm hoping that I can find something a little bit better than 120. That's the goal here. It'd be nice to find 150, but you know, that's never too realistic. <laughs> I just gotta make sure I'm uh, staying away from them at a distance because I guess they can pick you up off your mouth. This looks a little dangerous. Probably get some cap rows over here. I'm gonna stay away from the water, I think. Let's go ahead and get out my net gun. Kind of walk up to it slowly. Here we go. And boom. Perfect. So let's get this guy out and start shrinking it. And we are good to go. So it'll take 11 raw mutton. So I think I'm going to come back to this one. And that way I can just kind of keep looking around for some more. I don't think anything attacks it. I'm not sure, but I don't think anything attacks it. So it should be okay. I can track it with this guy and I will come back in a little bit. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of Megas in this area right now. But, um, there's another one. 135. Okay, I'll take that one, too. Um, let's see. What is it? I think it's fighting something. It's so funny. As soon as I say I haven't seen a lot, there's, like, two that pop up right in front of my face. That's really funny. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and kill this Titan Boa real quick. Good. I was getting worried there for a second. I was like, I don't want to have to kill you, my friend, because I will if I have to. If you bite me, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Well, I won't kill you, my Thylo will. That's how that works. Okay, we got a second one asleep. And we'll come back to those. That looks a little precarious, not gonna lie. I wonder what's down there, though. 
Well, someday I'll explore that area, but for now I'm gonna just stay up here. <laughs> I think after I get these Megas tamed up, I'm gonna go ahead and test them out, see what they're like. I've never actually tamed one or ridden one, so... Um, I do remember, actually, the first time I played Ark, it was so funny. Uh, the very first time I played Ark, it was on Ragnarok with some of my friends who had just started playing. And, oh, there's one over here. 25, really? That's a disgrace to my personality. Come on now. Ark, you can be better than that. Give me like a 1, 2, 5, and then we're talking. Anyway, as I was saying, um, when I first started playing on Ragnarok, I was literally just waking up naked, you know, with the whole animation and everything. I ran into the woods to find some fiber, and I saw this, like, random weird lizard-like dino just sleeping, curled up in a ball. Not, not a ball, but, like, curled up sleeping. And I was like, what is that? And I wasn't sure if it was, like, aggroed on me or, like, if it was going to be aggressive on me, so I punched it to see what would happen. <laughs> that was not a good idea because um, it ended up being a Megalosaurus. So that was my very first encounter with a Megalosaurus. And, yeah, it was not fun, but I figured it out pretty shortly that, yeah, you don't punch those things if they're asleep. They're just trying to, you know, just... They're just taking a little siesta from the map. You don't want to disturb them, I guess, right? But yeah, I'm pretty excited to try them out. I've never ridden one before. Oh, this thing is so useful, though, isn't it? Um, I think I'm going to try to get it aggroed onto me. i got to be careful over here. Let's kill the Titan Bow, I guess. There we go. And now we can do that. Back up slowly. Make sure nothing around us is going to hit it. Because, again, I don't think anything attacks it. Unless um, it attacks something, so super nice to have these things. And it's out. But yeah, once these three are up, I will be with you. Yo, there's a shine horn right there. I wonder what level it is. Let me take a look at it. It is a level 90. You know what? I wouldn't be opposed to taming that. It takes agrobaric mushroom, I think. Let's see, where is that? Agrobaric. Which one is that here? Auric. This one. Okay, let's go ahead and tame this guy up. What do we have for food for this mega over here? 130, 5300, okay. That should be enough, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and put some meat in this guy. Perfect, we got a 130, let's go, awesome. Let's go, we got a shine horn as well. What should I name you? I'm really close to the other one that I was taming up, so I'm gonna put some meat in this guy and get this one tamed up. got another one let's go and then i do want to make a couple of babies too just because i never know what happened i just lost a spino earlier in this video as you saw so um i don't think i made a spino baby unfortunately i might have to go oh i'm freezing what does that mean let me go ahead and take some mushrooms i think it's aquatic mushrooms that reverse the effects hopefully please be that no nothing this is not good um Let's see, my food is going down. I don't even know what causes that. Like, what causes that? I think it's like a... Is it like the zone that I'm in or something? Maybe it's the zone. I have no idea what's causing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Here, let me go ahead and... I'm gonna pass out. What counteracts that? I thought it was the aquatic mushrooms that do that. But I don't want to take those. I think those are narcotics, so... Yeah, I passed out. If someone can please comment in the comment section what it takes to reverse that effect and how that happens please let me know because i have no idea how that happens <laughs> i'm so confused like that's happened to me earlier in a previous video and i wasn't sure how that happened and i was so confused i'm like why is this happening to me and how do i fix this there we go that actually wasn't too long to wake up um i'm not gonna go that way i don't know what caused it but i'm not gonna go that way <laughs> uh i might have to though honestly can i go over this like boulder thing and then escape i don't know what causes that Oh, try to... oh, it's happening again, so let me get out of I think it's just a zone. I don't know why it's happening. Oh, I okay, I am back. Um, I have been just chatting with a couple of friends in the cluster about how to counteract the shroom issue. Apparently there are, like, mushrooms or something that you can run into that cause the uh, effect, so I'm gonna try to avoid that. I honestly don't know how to get over there. I'm gonna have to go around that area, because that area, whatever's causing it over there is an issue. So let me just avoid that, and then what is weighing me down right now? Some meat, let's get rid of that. Um, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna avoid that area. Because that happened twice in a row, and I tried to avoid the shrooms, but I think, I don't know what's going on over there. Let's go. We got four mega loss races. I'm not gonna complain about that. Let's go ahead and get this meat quick, too. So now that I have four mega loss races, I think I can go back to base and build a couple sounds for them and just try to see how they work. What in the world is that? I'm back at base, but I just saw this thing. It's a Tech Rex. Is that. A wild tech rex? <laughs> I didn't know tech rex is spawn an aberration. Maybe it's just like the cluster thing. Maybe it's just like specific to this cluster or something, but that is really funny. I might have to go check that out in a minute once I get everything sorted. Okay, so the tech rex just disappeared. I'm not sure where it went. It probably fell down, is my best guess, into the water. I'm not about to tame a tech rex in the water, so I'm not sure what that was all about. <laughs> That's kind of funny though. It's probably down down in the, um, the lake there, but oh well, that's too bad. Of course, it's only primitive, but that's the best I can do right now. I don't have um, the upgrade station anymore, just because it's a little bit cheap, honestly, and not very fun, because it's super easy to get really good stuff. So I hope to find some loot crates somehow. I'm not really sure where they spawn. If you know where any um, loot crates spawn on this map, please let me know. That would be very helpful. The weight, oh my gosh, that weight is terrible. Um, I don't need to carry a lot on it, but like, holy crap, at least have some decent weight, jeez. Alright buddy, what should we name you? I should probably give it a name first, it's a male. Prime, perfect. That would make sense, it's the highest level out of all the ones that I tamed today, so. Get some melee damage with this guy, and let's see what we can do with this thing. It sounds so scary though, like, just look at this, just look at this thing. <laughs> oh, it's freaking... Beautiful and terrifying at the same time. Okay, let's see here. It's not super fast, but that's okay. It's not supposed to be super fast anyway. I don't really care about that. Can it jump? No, it can't jump. Does it have any special abilities? Uh, it's like a roar. Let's put some melee damage into it quick. Hey, that's not bad, honestly. We are already at 800%, so that's good. Nice, nice. But yeah, this cluster is super active. Um, a lot of people play on it. Um, a lot of people are very friendly and nice. Honestly, everyone is super nice. If you're interested, let me know, and I can post the uh, Discord server in the... Um, description too so uh, but yeah a lot of people chatty and just kind of having a good time so I'm pretty heavy now oh my shine horn died why did my shine horn die did it starve to death I'm not sure what happened there that's unfortunate it's not in the tribe log so maybe it starved to death that could be it honestly yeah, that's probably it. I have no idea otherwise why I would have died. It didn't say anything killed it, so... Not really sure what happened there, but that's okay. There's plenty of shine horns around here. Or, I guess, in the blue zone. I think they're in the blue zone. Not sure if they're in the blue zone or what, but... I'll find another one eventually. No problem. I think that's actually going to be where I end the video. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one.